The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield Most people want everyone else in the world to change but themselves. Let me tell you, it's easier to change yourself than everyone else. Games reflect behavior. They are instant feedback systems. Some just let life push them around. Others get angry and push back. But they push back against their boss, or their job, or their husband or wife. They do not know it's life that's pushing. Most people fail to realize that in life, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you keep. The most important conversation is the one you are having with yourself. When? If you learn life's lessons, you will do well. If not, Life will just continue to push you around. People do two things. Some just let life push them around. Others get angry and push back. But they push back against their boss, or their job, or their husband or wife. They do not know it's life that's pushing. Only difference between rich people and poor people is what they do in their spare time. In times of change, learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. Education is one way to be rich. Financial wealth is another way to be rich. When you research the philosophy behind Prussian education, you will find that the purpose was to produce soldiers and employees, people who would follow orders and do as they were told. The Prussian system is for mass-producing employees. They work harder but don't get ahead. What is missing from their education is not how to make money, but how to manage money. It's called financial aptitude what you do with the money once you make it, how to keep people from taking it from you, how to keep it longer, and how to make that money work hard for you. Most people don't understand why they struggle financially because they don't understand cash flow. A person can be highly educated, professionally successful, and financially illiterate. These people often work harder than they need to because they learned how to work hard, but not how to have their money work hard for them. Both of my dads were generous men. Both made it a practice to give first. Teaching was one of their ways of giving. The more they gave, the more they received. One glaring difference was in the giving of money. My rich dad gave lots of money away. He gave to his church, to charities, and to his foundation. He knew that to receive money, you had to give money. Giving money is the secret to most great wealthy families. That is why there are organizations like the Rockefeller Foundation and the Ford Foundation. These are organizations designed to take their wealth and increase it, as well as give it away in perpetuity. Entrepreneurs are different, and one of those differences is their ability to operate sanely and intelligently without money. When I am asked why my real estate will not go down in a crash, I remind them that my real estate holdings are always near jobs, jobs that are not affected by stock market crashes. For example, 
Most of our apartment complexes are in major oil industrial cities like Houston and Oklahoma City, or next to hospitals, colleges, and large insurance companies. The price of oil may go up and down, but cash flow from renters keeps flowing.